Hello YouTube, this is Apple Stuff Tutorials here, and I'm going to explain to you the iTunes Store. You may be asking yourself, how in the world do I use the iTunes Store? Well, this is all about how you do it. So first off, we're going to open up iTunes. Voila, iTunes is open. So far in my previous videos, I have gone over the music, movies, and TV shows, as well as how to set the movie kind so that you can view TV shows, as well as this bar up here, everything that has to do up here. Except for this over here, which we'll be going over for to, oh, going over today. And I've also gone over this screen that Jim, you see here. Can you come in here, please? Down here for movies and TV shows. So that's what I've gone over so far. Now we're going to open up the iTunes store, and this could be a real mess to anyone that is anyone wondering about anything at all. So when you first open the store, you're going to uh, you're going to see this a page that looks like this. Up here, you're going to see uh, random things that they're promoting, um, and then usually there'll be a set of music, the popular music for the week, and other things that Apple really wants you to look at and probably think about purchasing, which really works a lot of the time, and recommendations for you once you have an account and you actually start downloading things. And then they have things that relate to Ping, their social network, which I'll be covering in the next video or two. And then they have movies and blah blah blah, TV shows. Yes, it, they have all of these things, and I also have top of the charts on this side over here. Um, very simple layout, hard to understand if you're new to it. So this is the home page, as you can see by this home looking, house looking uh, button here. Now, let's say that we're searching for music and we want to download music. Okay, well first off, up here is where you will find your uh, ID that you're going to enter in and you're going to use to download music. Um, it's usually just an iTunes or an Apple ID and you create it yourself and you plug in your credit card or your debit card or whatever it is and it subtracts some money from that account. Um, your typical, it, it's like if you were going to buy a wallet online. That's also how you would do it. Um, so here's quite simply all of uh, the popular songs that are out right now. Under here we can see um, the top of the charts songs, just one song at a time. Here's the top of the charts albums, like American Idol Top 6 Season 10. That's an album, that's why it's $7. This is the price over here. And some of the, some of the time they have songs for free. Um, not so much in music, but they have uh, games and apps free. I'll go over that later. And in order to search for a song, let's say, uh, I see the Beatles right here, let's say that you really want to search for Love Me Do by the Beatles. You type it up there, up here, that is, and you hit enter, and voila, look at all of this. There's albums for it, there's songs for it, and you can preview a song by clicking right here on this play button. That's it. All right, and if you wanted to download it, what you would do is click on that buy button. I don't want to buy it, because um, I already own it somewhere. And you would click this button, it would say, are you sure that you want to purchase this at $1.29? You would say yes, or confirm, and then it would show up in this downloads window over here in this area. I'll show you that when I download a free app for you. Very easy. Movies is exactly the same thing. Top of the charts movies, like the King, King Speech right now is top of the charts. It's $15 to buy it and to own it for the rest of your life. It's a very good investment, I must say. Um... Especially if you're going away on vacation or anything like that. Uh, $15 for a movie is, is a very enjoyable time. Um, uh, there's really nothing else to it. It's, this is all movies. You can search it at the top, just like I said for the other thing. Uh, if you want to search for uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, it's right there. You can type it in. I'm not going to do it because that'll waste time for you. And it will come up. It even comes up with a little ticker right here. And you can just click on one of those and that would be... The equivalent of searching for it. Oh, look, singing in the rain. Okay. Oh, musicals. Wow. All right. So that's movies. TV shows. It does it by season, just like how you organize your TV shows in your library. Um, another very simple thing. So let's say that your favorite TV show is Lost, even though... You know what? Let's change that. Let's say that your favorite TV show is Family Guy. Family Guy. You can search it. I always suggest searching it. If you search, if you 
browse through all of these TV episodes or TV seasons, you will just get a ton of a ton of TV shows that you really don't care about. So I hit enter on Family Guy, and look, there it is, season 6, season 7, season 8, season 4, 3, 2, 9. Wow, I didn't know that they had that. And you can download all of these seasons. See, it says 20... Oops, loading. It says twenty-seven ninety-nine to buy the whole entire season 5. Again, that's really not a bad deal. It would just take a while to download, but, I mean, 18 episodes at 22 minutes apiece, uh, that, that's a lot of time. And it's the equivalent of paying for a couple of movies, too. Now we get to the fun part, in my opinion. This is where I spend most of my time, in the App Store. This is only if you have an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad. Or, yes, that, that, that's it. Um, I hear that they display the uh, Apple whatever app of the week, and they pretty much just get you to buy it. Uh, if, if you've heard of any good apps, or if you want any good apps, uh, if you want to purchase any of them, you can. Uh, Angry Birds is always great. Tiny Wings is my favorite game, along with Air Penguin. I've been playing that a lot. Um, let's go to the free apps. They have a whole bunch of free apps. That means that you pay absolutely nothing for them. So let's say that I want to download Physics Game Box. Now, I've never heard of this before, but I'm going to show you how to download it. So what you would do is you'd hit free app. This is my ID. Plug in my password. And get. Oops. It says accessing iTunes Store, downloading Physics Game Box, whatever up there. And you can see it over here in this download section that's right underneath this ping thing. So there you have it. It's downloading this game, which will then transfer, in, transfer into your apps library. That's how you download apps. I will show you how to use apps and how to organize apps uh, later on. That'll probably be one of my next videos as well. So I've gone over music, movies, TV shows, and the App Store. Um, and now I'm going to go into podcasts. Podcasts are sort of a unique thing. All, mostly all of them are free. I believe that every one of them is free. Uh, they are pretty much radio shows that you can download to your iPod or iPhone or whatever. And you can listen to it. Like right down here, the royal wedding happened today on this day that I'm recording this. And uh, you can download uh, news or I guess the live coverage of the big day. See, it says right here. You can play it. The, the cool thing about this is that you can preview everything on the podcast because all of them are for free. See over here it says free. And of course if you wanted to download something I will download the smallest file I can find which would be this one. I'm downloading that. It's free. You can see that my downloads has increased to two and that podcast would go right over here into the podcast section. I have not explained what podcasts are yet. That will be my next video most definitely. Uh, they're very interesting. Now, we also have audiobooks in here. I do not know much about them. What I do know is that if you uh, want to read a book and you have trouble reading or something like that, this is very helpful, uh, especially like really long books um, like Water for Elephants up here. And I've heard that that's a decently long book, but pardon my English skills. I might not be that talented. Um, you can download any audio for any book uh, that lives in the market. Like, I, I mean, I don't really know that many books, as you can tell by my lack of knowledge about Water for Elephants, but you can download any book's audio, and you can read the book on your iPod through their bookstore, depending on what device you have, and you can play the audiobook, which would appear in music, I believe. So that's the audiobook section. iTunes U and Ping I'm going to cover in another video, because they are very... Uh, I don't want to say they're used a lot. I don't want to say that they're not used a lot. I'm sure that some people do use them, but mostly people use the music section, the movies, TV shows, app store, podcasts, and audiobooks. Sorry, I keep checking my time because I'm at nine minutes. That took me nine minutes to do this, uh, this version of the iTunes store. So that is what the iTunes store is. It's very easy to download things, very safe. Everything is legal. There's nothing that's illegal on here. And this would definitely be the way to download things as of now. Um, thank you for watching this really long tutorial on what iTunes is. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please rate below, comment, you know, give me five stars. I'm really trying to get my stuff out there. I'm really just trying to help uh, the world, I guess you could say. Um, even though that sounds really lame. So yes, thank you very much, and I will talk to you at a later date. Bye-bye.